Hey there, my name is Ali and welcome to the Photoshop beginner course. Today we're gonna discuss the image size and the canvas size and the crop tool. <clears throat> okay, the first of all, this is the crop tool. We can use it to change the size of our like canvas. But first, let me explain one thing. Now I inserted a photo to Photoshop, but I don't know the photo size. I wanna like know what size is it. So at the top you have in the image menu, you have something called image size and something called canvas size. If you go to image size, you will find that this image is 72.6 cm by 58.49 cm, 72 pixel per inch. However, if we go to the <coughs> image canvas size, you will find the exact same number and you can reduce it here and you can reduce it there. So <coughs> what's the difference? Okay, the first one is the image size. You have this link button in the image size. If you reduce one of them, the other would reduce gradually if you have the link button on. If you close it and you reduce one of them, the other won't reduce. So this preserves the aspect ratio. Okay, let me open it again. <clears throat> okay, let's say now we have this one 72.6 by 58. I want to only reduce the width by maybe 12. So I'll make this one 60 and I'll press OK. You see what happened here? Everything, like the canvas. I'll press Ctrl Z to show you. This was the before, this was the after. The before, the after. So everything, including like the image inside, along with the canvas, everything got smaller. Okay, I'll go back. The other one is canvas size. Let's say in the canvas size, I made this one instead of 72, I made it 60, reduced by 12. And I said proceed. You see what happened here? What was the difference? Here, the only thing that changed was the canvas itself. What the canvas mean is like the outside borders of your image. But the image was not affected by this. This is the main difference. What's cool about the canvas size is that not only I can tell him make it 60, but I can choose the 60 to be from that side. So when I press OK, it will only lose the 12 centimeter from this side. From that side on the right, nothing will be affected. Okay, let's go back to canvas size. This one, let's like explain it more. Let's say we're gonna like talk about the height. If I, I wanna increase the height of that one by 10 from below. If I wanted to increase from below, I'm gonna press the up button. It's always the opposite, remember that. So if I press the up button, if you see here, it's telling, it's trying to tell you like the extra area will be down. So this is how you know it. If I press the left one, I will have extra from down and from right. Okay, now we have like excessive from right and excessive from down. So from down, I want the extra area to be, let's say 70, so increased by 12. And this one, I'm only gonna increase, no, I'm gonna increase a lot, like I'll maybe put 120. So here I increased a lot, here I increased a little. Now he will tell you the canvas extension color. Like when you increase the size, what color you want to have it in the new area. So you can choose like from white, black, gray, foreground, background, or you can just choose any color you want. I'll choose this blue and I'm gonna press OK. You see what happened? It increased from the right a lot by the number we added and from below a little bit by the number we added. OK, I press Ctrl Z to go back. Okay, now we're done with the image size, the canvas size. We have here something called image rotation. This is very simple. You can like rotate it clockwise. You can 180 degrees and you can flip vertical and you can flip like horizontal and vertical. Okay, let's get it back the way it was. This is important. Actually, usually all artists when they work, every while they will do that. Flip canvas horizontal. This will give you another like perspective from seeing your work because you're used to see it from one angle. When you flip it like that, you see it from a different angle. Okay, the last thing is the crop tool. The crop tool is almost the same as canvas size. It's, it doesn't affect the image. It's, it only affects the boundaries of the image. So if I increase its size, now I have an excessive area. If I reduce the size, I can have like the less area. But the thing is I can like reduce the size and then I can, I can increase it back again. 
But let's say, for example, I want my image size to be something like that. Okay. But now this is like the excessive parts are only making my file heavier. And I don't need them. So what can I do is I'll press delete cropped pixels. And I'll press yes. What that does is it deleted the excessive area. This will make your, fi your file faster. But it's like a permanent damage to your photo. You made it. You can't go back unless you go like control Z. Let me like press control Z. So I go undo. Okay, let's go back to the crop. The shortcut for crop is C. If I press C, I have it. Okay. The cool thing about that is that you can choose like any ratio you want. Let's say you want that for YouTube. YouTube is 16 by 9. You do that now. This is the ratio for YouTube, 16 by 9. Or you can just do a ratio. Okay, let's say we want it for Instagram. Instagram works 4 by 5. Okay, so this is for Instagram. If you reduce the size... Or you increase the size from only one side, it will always preserve the ratio of 4 to 5. But let's say I don't want that. Like, I don't want the 4 by 5 ratio. I just want to, like, pull it back. But everything is, like, getting bigger together. So I'll just press the clear button. And I'll be free to pull it back. The ratios will be, like, 0 and 0 back again. So this is the crop tool. Okay, that's it for today.